Okay, welcome. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve this mixture problem. Now, uh, this mixture problem states uh, Julio wants to make 7.5 quarts of a 22% saline solution by mixing together a 25% saline solution and a 20% saline solution. How much of each solution must he use? Now, with the whole word problems, uh, we got to organize our stuff. Just by reading this, I think a lot of you will understand that it's just going to get confusing, right? So the main important thing is we got to figure out a way to organize this. So they said there's two types of solutions. We had a 25% and a 20%. So I'm just going to say here's the 25% and the 20%. All right. Now, um, a couple things that we were talking about that we know about it. One is we know that uh, uh, we need to know how much of each solution, which we don't know, right? So that's going to be our, our unknown is the amount. So let's make the 25% solution X and the 20% solution Y. Um, and then, you know, the concentration of each amount we can represent. So it's going to be 25% times our multiplier x is going to be of how much, you know, um, percentage of our solution in that amount. So I can write 0.25x, right? Because depending on how much solution I have, I'm going to multiply that by the percentage to know what is my percent per solu of the solution in my amount. And then this one was 20% of my solution. So the percentage of solution is just going to be 0.20 times y. OK. So I have my x and my y. I have 0.25x, 0.20y. Now, the main important thing we need to understand about when we're doing mixture problems is we're combining things, right? We're taking one part and we're taking another part and we're bringing them together. So we're going to want to create another equation that's going to represent that bringing together. And one thing I notice is that he wants to make 7.5 quarts. So I could say the amount of my 25% solution plus the amount of my 20% solution is going to equal... 7.5. So I could say x plus y equals 7.5. Now, uh, what I can do is I can use one of these to get rid of one of my variables. Because, you know, when it's very difficult to solve for equation, uh, equation when we have two variables unless we're going to use a system. So what I'll do is I'm going to solve for x by subtracting a y on both sides. So I get x equals 7.5 minus y. Now what I'm going to do is I need to understand, well, what is the solution he wants? Well, he wants a 22% solution out of that 75 quarts. So I can take my set points or my 7.5 quarts and I want a 22% solution of that. So I'm going to multiply 7.5 times 0.22. And when doing that, I get 7.5 times 0.22 is going to equal 1.65 is going to be the percent of my saline solution, of the total. So what I can do now is if here's my total that I'm going to want, I'm going to want a percentage of my 25% of my solution plus my 20% solution. So what I'll do is, I'm going to want to add, so as I'm trying to say, I want to add this amount plus this amount equals that amount, right? Well, instead of writing x and y, I now have solved x for, um, or so I've, I've now solved x equals 7.5 minus y. So I'm going to use that instead. So what I can say is, um, 25% solution, 0.25, and now instead of times x, I'm going to multiply it times 7.5 minus y. So I have 25% of my x solution, which I rewrote as 7.5 minus y, plus 
my 20% solution, which I rewrite as 0 0.20, equals 1.65. Now we have to do a little math, a little algebra. I'll uh, do my distributive property. So point, point 0.25 times uh, 7.5 equals 1.875 minus 0.25 plus 0 0.20 0 0.20 equals 1.65. Now I can combine my like terms. Uh, so that's going to provide me with a negative 0 0.05. So I'll subtract 1.875. So 1.65 minus 1.875 gives me a negative 0.225 equals, uh, when I combine these two together, which is a y, I'm sorry, I got a little lazy on that. 0.25 times negative y is a negative 0.25y. When I combine them, I get a negative 0.05y. Let's write that a little bit closer. Negative 0.05y. Divide by negative 0.05 on both sides. And what I get... is y equals 4.5. So therefore, the amount of solution um, for my y is going to be 4.5. So how do I figure out? So I'm going to use 4.5 of my 20% solution. How much of my x of my 25% solution am I going to have to use? Well, it's very simple. Just plug in 4.5 in for your y, and you get x equals 3. So therefore, I'm going to use three quarts. I'm going to use three quarts of my 25% solution and 4.5 quarts of my 20, 25% and of my 20% solution. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you solve the mixture problem. Um, when dealing like this, it is a little work for us, but hopefully, I help you uh, understand for you.